When we talk about the I Am Legend sequel, there are a few things we're really hoping to see. Flashbacks to the earliest days of the plague, a new group of survivors, more exploration of the Dark Seeker's humanity, progress toward a cure, and maybe even Ruth from the original novel making an appearance. Will all of this happen? Well, here's what we know so far. On March 4, 2022, reports confirm that Warner Brothers is actively developing I Am Legend 2. In an encouraging sign, screenwriter Akiva Goldsman is returning to write the script. So, let's dive in and see what might be in store for us. It's been over 15 years since Warner Brothers finally moved forward with I Am Legend 2, a sequel to the 2007 sci-fi horror hit. Updates are still sparse. Will Smith starred in the original I Am Legend, which was both a critical and commercial success, directed by Francis Lawrence. The movie, based on Richard Matheson's classic novel, is a standout among 2000's big-budget CGI blockbusters and remains a highlight in Smith's filmography. There's been talk of a sequel since the original success, but the controversial climax, where Smith's character Robert Neville dies, complicated things. While a prequel was considered, the sequel was eventually greenlit, with Michael B. Jordan joining and Smith returning, despite his usual reluctance to do sequels. Michael B. Jordan recently provided an update on the I Am Legend 2 script, expressing his excitement to work with Will Smith. He mentioned that the script is still in progress and that no production timeline or release date have been set. Jordan said, We're still working on the script and getting that up to par. It doesn't have a release date or anything like that. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to be filming that one, but I'm really excited to get in front of the camera with him. Being somebody that I've looked up to for a really long time, being able to work with Will is something I'm really looking forward to, I'm really excited. Even though updates on I Am Legend 2 are becoming more frequent, it's still unclear if director Francis Lawrence will return. However, screenwriter Akiva Goldsman has shared some pivotal details about the sequel. Goldsman confirmed that the movie will take place decades after the events of the first film, and will follow an alternate ending closer to the original I Am Legend book than the theatrical ending where Neville sacrifices himself. In this alternate ending, Neville realizes that the infected aren't trying to kill him, but are actually trying to rescue one of their own, whom Neville captured for testing. He comes to understand that they see him as a monster. Goldsman mentioned The Last of Us as an inspiration, indicating that the sequel will explore a post-apocalyptic world reclaimed by nature. The story will still be set in New York City. Goldsman's intent to align the sequel more closely with the source material is promising, as it opens up the possibility of exploring themes of zombie societies and their social structures. This has also led to speculation that Michael B. Jordan might play a dark seeker in the sequel. With that being said, let's talk about a few things we're really hoping to see in I Am Legend 2. First up, flashbacks showing the earliest days of the plague. The original I Am Legend only gave us brief glimpses of life before the dark seeker plague, like the chaos and the tragic deaths of Robert Neville's wife and daughter in a helicopter crash. This setup provided the necessary context, but it skimmed over Neville's life as a military virologist before the outbreak. In contrast, the book includes more frequent flashbacks, highlighting that it was the disease that claimed his family's lives. I Am Legend 2 could delve deeper into both Neville's personal life and the broader world before the apocalypse with more flashbacks. Admittedly, working around Will Smith's age for these scenes could be a challenge, however, Considering the impressive de-aging technology used in Gemini Man, it's entirely possible for Smith to convincingly portray a younger Neville again. Providing a larger window into the pre-apocalypse lives of Neville and other survivors would significantly enhance the story, giving audiences a richer understanding of the world in I Am Legend. Another exciting prospect for I Am Legend 2 is the introduction of a new group of survivors. The original film hinted at a safe haven in Vermont, but whether you go with the theatrical or DVD ending, this camp of survivors in Bethel, Vermont, remains a tantalizing mystery. Despite Neville's skepticism, Anna and Ethan's belief in this camp suggests they have a better grasp of the world state than Neville, who thought he was the last human in New York City and possibly the world. The sequel could finally shed light on these survivors. So far, the only confirmed new cast member for I Am Legend 2 is Michael B. Jordan, though his role remains under wraps. It's possible he could play a leader in this survivor camp, potentially clashing with Robert Neville, who has survived alone for so long. Alternatively, these survivors might be living dark seekers, as described in the book, non-feral creatures who have retained their humanity and build a new society. 
This could add a fascinating dynamic to the story, exploring how these groups interact and survive in a post-apocalyptic world. A more thorough examination of the humanity of the Dark Seekers is something else we would love to see covered in I Am Legend 2. The original story's premise is compelling because it hints at the latent humanity within these seemingly feral, bloodthirsty creatures. Initially, the Dark Seekers appear to be mindless ghouls, but the alternate ending of the first film reveals their capacity for complex emotions and bonds. This is highlighted when the Dark Seeker Alpha makes a butterfly pattern, symbolizing his longing for his captured mate who has a butterfly tattoo. The original novel goes even further, depicting an evolved form of Dark Seekers who form a society nearly indistinguishable from humans, complete with their own myths and legends about the terrifying Dr. Neville. This concept gave the story its name, showing Neville as a legendary monster in the eyes of the Dark Seekers. Unfortunately, this theme was underdeveloped in the first movie. In I Am Legend 2, we hope to see an expansion on the Dark Seeker sapience, showing them as more self-aware and culturally rich beings. This would add a fascinating layer to the story, exploring the complexities of their existence and their perspective on the post-apocalyptic world. Another key point that I Am Legend left hanging was the fate of the cure for the Dark Seeker plague. In the alternate ending, which Will Smith has confirmed will be the canon for the sequel, Neville abandons his research and the quest for a cure to embrace his new life with Anna and Ethan. While this makes for a touching ending, it feels like a missed opportunity not to continue exploring the cure's potential in a sequel. There are several intriguing directions I Am Legend 2 could take regarding this plotline. For instance, Neville might have moved on from his research only to be pulled back into it by a new human faction, possibly led by Michael B. Jordan's character. Alternatively, Neville could complete his work but face significant challenges in distributing it within the collapsed society of his world. In an interesting twist, if Neville ends up collaborating with a more evolved society of Dark Seekers, he might even oppose the cure, seeing it as a threat to the sentient creatures he's come to understand and empathize with. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. What are your thoughts on the potential developments for I Am Legend 2? What are you hoping to see in the sequel? Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.